Hello YouTube. Today I want to show you my new version of the gear indicator. And uh, this is the color display version. And let me start it up again to show you the previous screens. So if you turn it on and you have not selected neutral, it does so. It does tell you to select neutral. And uh, since I have no other switches except the touch sensors connected, uh, the first two screens go in a loop. So then it says uh, neutral, obviously, and then you come to the first gear. And then you can upshift, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, if you have sixth gear and you can go down again obviously and these will be done over micro switches or read switches and as i showed in a previous video uh, the size of the heads platform is so that it fits into a gopro session waterproof case so any gear indicator obviously mostly on motorcycles will be able to be used in a waterproof case and will have just a thin wire going out the back with five connections, positive, negative, positive uh, 12 volt ground, uh, neutral input, 12 volt positive, and then two inputs, one for upshift and one for downshift, as I simulate here with the touch sensors. And I wanted to make, um, since the Arduino has limited space and I would not be able to fit five uh, bitmaps in here or six, uh, I made it as a seven segment uh, display with the gray background and uh, front color is uh, in this case uh, cayenne and of course when you order it you can choose any color you like you could even have a different background color and then the the digits in a different color or five different colors or six colors or whatever you like the possibilities are near endless so this is my new version of the gear indicator and uh, now I want to show you my updated code for the remote that I'm making, which will be a standalone product as well in the future. I'm just uploading the code. And I did edit the Chrysler 300C bitmap a little more. It does look now more like my car. And uh, after the startup screen, of course, in the future, when you're gonna buy this, you can have your own car on there and not my car, obviously. So on this screen, there doesn't seem to be much changes, but you will see now. I do have a display dim function. After you press the button, for example, and after what do I have to delay seven and a half seconds, the display does dim to save on power. And once you touch it again, it comes on, and then after the timeout, it goes out again. Of course, this can be adjusted in the code. It's not using delay, it's using millis. Did I say it right? the blink without the delay millis yes uh, so it does count the current millis and then it adds the millis on top of that what you have and then it goes after that so that was one button which is obviously the lock button and this will be uh, I said it before a two way remote so actually when you touch the uh, the remote the lock icon will blink and the green blinker ones will blink when it gets a reply from the car and of course touch sensor if you would have this in, this, in your pocket it would be very easy to touch 
So here I have something else. On there I have it so that you need to touch two buttons for it to register. And I know what you're saying, you're not gonna hold this with two hands, this is just a test to see what's working out the best. I might do something completely different once it gets to the final stage. And it also has a button that latches. So for anything that you need to be latched or toggled, so you can do that too. As you see the check engine gets toggled with each push and of course does time out again. So that's that, the edited code I did mention before the, <coughs> the so <coughs> oh, I'm sorry, the soft start of the display because otherwise you get all the garbled background from the previous because display has actually memory and it does save some from the old when you power it off it says it saves it and then it shows it as a garbage or garbled bitmap or whatever it was when you turn it on so with the soft start uh, I did eliminate that so this was it actually oh and um, I was going to put this the remote make it like with this form factor <clears throat> and since I like an antennas I know some people don't I can make it actually both ways with or without antenna so this is how it would look like with antenna uh, actually I'm the remote mod the transceiver modules I'm gonna use are the RF24 and I found some that go up to five kilometers in um, transmission range so of course that's the maximum it would go but I mean uh, that's pretty high even if it does make only 20% of that that's a kilometer and I don't think you're gonna use your remote uh, from a kilometer uh, distance but you can up to five kilometers and um, of course again this doesn't have to be a car remote it could be any remote with feedback so it's a two-way remote and while I was looking on my table I saw my uh, design that I'm using for the altimeter and any other code that has a rotary encoder and then I figured I could use this this way and put the antenna on top of here and that would I think kinda look cute or good or whatever I like it I like if it's different uh, this would be kind of boring but this would be even better um, of course I don't want to make it thick, uh, this too big I actually ordered even shorter antennas for the 2.5 gigahertz range uh, transmission range or frequency range not transmission range frequency range so I could use it this way uh, either this way or that way I don't know yet so on here you could have different uh, like a main uh, touch and then the other touches that it's only registering when you have your thumb here for example I don't know I'm not sure yet I'm gonna do it so this was the other idea I had if you have any comments, ideas, uh, please let me know. I also have actually this uh, 3D printed case that I found on Thingiverse and uh, I kind of like the shape of it and that you hold like this and actually has a touch, uh, not touch button, a regular button here, a four-way button. Of course it all depends on what kind of PCB you will make for it. And this is kind of a little too big for the color display so I could make a version with this only smaller but I'm not sure yet so I'm open for suggestions 
and um, it could be technically any shape even something completely different than this with no corners just a it could even be an egg shaped or whatever I mean just you can use your imagination as to what you want or what I'm gonna make so that's that um, yes uh, I also wanted to mention that my Patreon page is up and running and I did get a few Patreons, thank you very much. I really appreciate it and uh, any 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 donation, any sign, any pledge does uh, help. So that was that. Um, I'm sure as always, I'm sure I did forget something. But this was it. Uh, anyway, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'm here to answer them. Take care, everybody, and stay safe.